Welcome to Skill Header with another unique video for making MS Access Database online using MySQL Server, the most popular database management system used on the web. Estimates suggest that around 40 to 45% of all websites use MySQL as their backend database. It means whenever to fill in the information using a form on a website, most probably the information will be stored in a MySQL database. In simple words, you are in business. In this video, we will configure MySQL Server Database on two different web hosting providers to have a better approach to how things work. We will explore how to configure MySQL remotely from our local PHP MyAdmin, how to enhance security to use MS Access Online using MySQL web hosting, and how to configure and connect MySQL database with MS Access. We are using the reliable and tested skill header hosting provider, the Hostinger. Please watch the video till the end. Hey, wait a minute. Why is it at the end of the video? Start your web journey with Hostinger using our extra discount link of not 5, not 10. It is a 20% extra discount with a free domain for the first year and an extended 3 months free. If you prefer 48 months of hosting. These are the general prices for 12, 24, and 48 months. But with our discounted link you can get a massive discount. Like this, you will be a contributor to support us. The link is available in the description for a limited time. Grab this offer now. Yes, you are right because the next mission of Skillheader is to empower you with web databases using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Bootstrap, and PHP. You can click on the I button above to access the playlist of the Ultimate Web Login System tutorial. I am logging on to my Hostinger H panel with my credentials. Welcome to Hostinger's new menu structure which is easy to manage all the services. You can add a website using different methods including WordPress, Hostinger Website Builder, and of course, a website based on PHP slash HTML. For the time being, we will use a temporary domain. It is being initialized and creating the environment of the dashboard. From the dashboard, click on Databases. Put your MySQL database name with login username and password to access it remotely from any location. The list has been updated with the recent MySQL database and user. Now, here you can enter into the PHP MyAdmin environment directly from your web hosting to customize the database. Later in this video, we will also learn how to access it remotely on localhost PHP MyAdmin. Here you can create new databases and tables. I am creating a database with four fields here and insert demo data into the table. The data has been inserted. Finally, we need to create a remote database connection. For better security and to use the database on a specific computer, here you can put the IP address. 
This will not be the IP address assigned by your internet router. Go to Google and write, My IP, and it will give your computer's IP address. However, you can check the option for any host to be configured with this connection. Now choose your recently created database from the list. It will create your connection. Move on to create a new MS Access database. You need to download and install the MySQL ODBC connector file. Please click on the I button above to learn how to download and install the MySQL ODBC connection file. All download links are available in the video description. Start the ODBC data source connection from your Windows. Add a new ODBC connection. Click on the recently installed MySQL ODBC option from the list. This is the main window where you can connect MySQL hosting database. After giving any data source name, you need a TCP IP server address. Here you can find the hosting as MySQL server hostname and IP address. You can use any one of these. Please remember that the MySQL server's default port will always be 3306. You do not need to change it here. Now, put the user and password. Let us test the connection. Great! As you can see the connection is successful and the database should be available in the list. Select the database and hit OK. Move on to our MS Access database to link the ODBC data source. Select the data source from the list. Here is the database that we created online. The table has been linked successfully and it shows on the record that we have inserted. Let's quickly create an unbound form to insert the record from a submit button. As you can see, the record has been added to the table. You can add a confirmation message as well. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thanks for watching. In the next video of this series, we will learn how to use a remote MySQL server with localhost PHP MyAdmin.